All right, it's airdrop time. What's up, folks? Welcome to the channel. My name is Justin. You're on Fast Entrepreneur. Let's get into it. I want to talk about the Arbitrum airdrop, probably the biggest news uh, of the day here in crypto land. Uh, it's not uh, claimable, I think, until uh, the 23rd, so about a week. But uh, you can go to Arbitrum's official website. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, Foundation. They've got a uh, eligibility checker you could check to see. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, uh, what is Arbitrum? It's a layer two scaling solution. It's been in the works for uh, a while in terms of this airdrop. Um, their main net, uh, Arbitrum One, has been out for a while. They've also got other products. Um, so anyways, if you look at the criteria, you know, it, it's very similar. Uh, you know, there were you an early user? Did you transact with, you know, enough volume? Uh, did you make enough transactions, you know, maybe over multiple days? Uh, did you use, uh, you know, did you bridge? Yada, yada, yada. So, um, you know, Optimism has already done uh, their airdrop initially, and then they did a second one simply just for folks that uh, delegated. So we'll have to wait and see here. Um, but if you also look at the Optimism ecosystem, uh, Optimism had grants given to projects uh you know in their ecosystem that you could also earn more we've talked about you know projects velodrome etc uh and so perhaps same will be coming to uh arbitrum as well uh you can definitely stay tuned now if you're new to all this or you missed it or you don't know what we're talking about uh you know i made a lot of videos airdrops are basically you know where you use a a protocol or interact with a smart contract early on and then uh, you know they may end up just rewarding you kind of like uh, you know it's kind of like marketing for them right it, it gets the word out and uh, why not reward people that are early users um, all right so what next um, well here I did a quick back of the napkin you know kind of thinking price I think there's like 10 billion of these they're not all gonna be out in circulation all at once um, yada yada we're in a bear market I don't know I'd say probably somewhere between if I were to take a guess maybe like a dollar or two dollars I know that's a quite a big range but uh, you know at launch that's that's how these things go let's call it a buck fifty who knows don't hold me to it never financial advice do your own research um, you know it's up to you what you want to do with them all and uh, yada yada um, all right so with that being said uh, let's talk about some other airdrops uh, and kind of what I'm thinking about. So they call it, you know, airdrop farmers, if you will, right? Because you're kind of anticipating. You don't know. Sometimes they do announce. So obviously, you know, what I'm kind of looking for, if I have the time, right? Sometimes I just don't have the time, right? So sometimes you got to be realistic with yourself and, you know, what can you do? What can't you do? But I want to look for projects that, you know, one, are big projects, right? Have secured a lot of funding, um, you know, have large valuations have a large percentage or at least enough percentage of their potential supply to go uh, to airdrops or community you know fun yada 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 um, you want to make it worth your while also uh, also uh, projects you know that have announced or confirmed right those are always uh, Need to meet these criteria. These are good because then at least, uh, who knows? Maybe the criteria will be too hard. Maybe you won't qualify. Uh, but you know, you have to wait and see. Maybe you'll be happy. Maybe you'll be disappointed. Um, what else? You've got uh, some other projects. Some of the major ones that I've been looking at, you know, for a while. We've talked about uh, zk Sync. We've talked about uh, uh, Starknet. Um, we've got layer zero, um, and there's more, but you know, just to name a few. All right. So that's it. That is the airdrop discussion of the day. Uh, you know, if you're interested in the Arbitrum ecosystem, you can definitely check out some of the other dApps, the decentralized apps, uh, and specifically if you want to go and like, check out like DeFi Llama. You can see what the TDL, the total value locked that some of these are. You know, should there be like, you know, more incentives uh, for um, 
some of the Arbitrum ecosystem like there was with Optimism. Uh, you know, it tends to be that projects with a larger TVL may uh, have an advantage there. Um, you know, and then look at the narratives. I mean, there's, you know, different narratives. There's NFT platforms, there's swap platforms, there's perp uh, platforms, there's, you know, these solidly forks. And so, you know, if, you know, if you're looking to kind of take a look at a few platforms, it's up to you. Um, but, uh, you know, have fun with it. And, uh, you know, if nothing else, you know, we learn and uh, we learn, you know, the web is growing quickly. You know, I've shot other videos. We're, we're in this uh, very interesting time, especially with AI and, uh, you know, GPT-4 out now and all these other competing large language models, Mid-Journey 5 out. Um, so we'll just, uh, we'll continue from there. But uh, beautiful day. We had a huge uh, snowstorm uh, just recently. And now uh, it looks like it's back to Milton. Summer may be here soon. I'm on my way because it's madness, baby. That's right, March Madness, the uh, college hoops. It's begun. Just started, the first game started a few hours ago. Hope you got your brackets in. Uh, I'm just doing it for fun uh, with a few folks, but I am going to watch my uh, alma mater in about uh, 15 minutes. Go Tigers. Peace.